On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the deadbolt detonators and the mag of holding on the Morse sniper rifle. Which when pack a punch, it has a special ability where it shoots explosive rounds. Let's see if it works. Like I mentioned in the intro, this weapon does have the special ability that when we pack a punch it, its rounds are explosive and not to be confused with the explosive rounds that you can add in the attachment slot, which I think do help out a bit. But this is what you get before pack a punch, you know, it's just a small little baby explosion. But then we go ahead and throw pack a punch on here and we get one of these. So theoretically, when we throw on our dead wire detonator, it should add on the dead wire effect to this. And I don't know what order these videos are going to come out in, but I recently recorded a video of me testing out all the launchers with the dead wire detonators. And in the beginning of that video, I tested out the Morse sniper because it was requested a lot by you guys. Also, thank you again to those of you that requested this weapon because I was also curious to see if it worked. And when I used it, I only used it for like, I don't know, a little like small part of a game just to see if it works see what it would activate it and i only used it in tier one for about like a few shots i didn't see deadware activate at all so i just thought it didn't work but when i got back to the main menu i noticed one of my daily challenges for getting electric kills had some progress to it despite me not going in with deadware at all so i'm thinking this might actually work and i just missed it so let's go ahead and throw on our deadware detonators here and our mag of holding and let me use the rest of my perks and we're right here next to the storm caller so we might as well try it out on them. This is a possible epilepsy warning. I didn't find out till I was recording this video that the optic that I use for this sniper zooms in weird and it could cause some flashing. So if you're sensitive to this kind of thing, maybe sit this one out. I just wanted to give a warning to those of you that might be effective, but the video will be resuming in around five seconds. And I don't think I have a self revive right now, but I don't think that should matter. Whoa, this with MAGA holding is kind of crazy. The optic just keeps popping in and out of the frame. Okay, maybe we should just hip fire this so I don't go crazy. But I'm not seeing the electric symbol pop up when we shoot the storm caller. Normally the elemental logo will show up when you're hitting something that's weak. So whatever element you're shooting at them, but it don't seem to be happening right here. But add this to the list of bugs in this game. I think as long as I'm not crashing, I'll be all right. But this is gonna get annoying. Yeah, I'm still not seeing it pop up, but just to be safe. Oh, storm caller. How you doing, bro? Nice to see you. I have a good one. But just to be safe, since I already ran out of ammo here, I'm going to go get me a self-revive. And we'll do a few tier two bounties while we're in the area as well, because I want to build up some self-revives, build up a little bit of cash. Then we'll make our way into tier three, because that's where I found that deadware detonators seem to show that they're working the most. I think whatever you're fighting needs a certain amount of health, and there needs to be a certain amount of enemies surrounding where you're shooting to see it activate. And right, we get to try it against another disciple here. How's this doing? I hate this glitch, dude. This is so dumb. I wish it was kind of like Cold War, where I could just go to an armor stand and just like shuffle the attachments, but we're kind of just stuck with this for the game. We're just going to have to quick scope with it. It doesn't seem to really do it if we quick, we quick scope. And it's doing damage, but I'm still not seeing the elemental logo pop up. But night, night, disciple. And let's do one more bounty. Then we can get to the big dudes. How's this doing against you, Mangler? Not the greatest, actually. Not really breaking armor. Oh, now it did. And now he's dead. And he didn't want to drop us anything. Greedy bastard. And I haven't forgotten about you, Stormcaller. Where are you hiding at? Oh, there he is. Came right up to me. Immediately broke his mask. Let's get back to quick scoping. Which is very unfortunate that we got to do that. But just like what I was talking about earlier is I was getting electric damage kills for a daily challenge and I was not seeing the electric pop up at all. So maybe it is doing electric damage. But we're just not seeing the little notification for it. I just got electric damage. I just got struck by lightning. Twice. But he's extremely resilient against this. And we're out of ammo again. All right, pal. I see how it's going to be. We might just have to take the L on this fight. I don't know if we can beat him. All right. You win. I'm going to tier three. Now let's see if we can get a good group of zombies together over here. I'm just going to run around for a second until we got a, a nice pack chasing us. Oh, I walked into the stronghold to try to get zombies to spawn. And we definitely got that. But I didn't know this was going to be my only way out. So we took out all the zombies very easily. But I'm still not seeing the pop up or any zombies like on the ground with dead wire affecting them. I'm going to buy my perks, but I'm going to not buy elemental pop or just try not to because 
Sometimes I just go through and I click everything and I don't think. There we go. So if we see any dead wire pop up, it's not going to be from Elemental Pop, and I'm not going to throw the Deadwire Ammo mod on this. But we might as well finish what we started in here. Let's clean up this Stronghold. Let's see if we can't get a Legendary Aether Tool or something out of this, since they decided to change that side Easter egg. Wait, we already cleared it out? No, that's a different one we just got credit for. And as good as this gun is, this has got to have the worst visibility out of any weapon in the game. It's so not only is there giant smoke clouds that pop up every time you shoot it anywhere near you, but this whole optic thing is annoying. Are Disciples just invincible against this? They're eating shots left and right. And there's nothing good in here. Oh, and we walked away at the wrong time. There's a bounty right here, and this guy's getting to it. It's so hard to compete with people with Scorchers. Whatever. We'll do a spore control. What's weird about this weapon, though, is for most, like, bolt-action rifles, you still need to bolt it back with mag of holding. For, but for this, it don't. And I think that's what's messing up the optic. Like, we can still spam it hip-firing, but... It's definitely not as good. If there's any exclusion to any weapon needing to bolt back with MAGA holding, I'm, I'm glad this weapon is one of them. It's got such a cool pack-a-punch ability to just waste it on having to bolt it back when you have some nice items. And that's our contract. Nothing really good out of it. What about this ethereal orb? I haven't taken one of these bad boys down in a while. Maybe this will drop me a, a nice little legendary aether tool for old time's sake. What do we get? A rare aether tool, nice. I'm glad I wasted my time with that. But I'm still not seeing any like dead wire pop up. Maybe it's chalked. Maybe it don't work with this. But in that video, the other weapon I used when going in to just test the Morse was the Storm Ender. And I don't think it works with that one either. But that's the only way I can see me actually getting that electric damage. I wish I still had that challenge to track in game and see if it was working. Either way, this gun still kicks ass. So let's do an ACV. This is about to be the easiest contract of my life. We got our practice in for the Elder Sigil. This is struggling against bosses though, which sucks. Zombies is tearing through. Elites are just eating it. We're at the last stop at almost 60% health. We can still do this. Come on, 40%. Launch. There we go. I didn't even see what was happening there. I was just shooting. Ooh, give me that bounty. Be a disciple too. I need some payback. Mega Abomination? We can still fight that. Oh, and it just died. Or nothing. Might be the best gun in the game. Didn't even have to shoot it to kill him. Let's try that again. Can you even deal damage to this guy? Oh, we can. It's not an insane amount of damage, but it's damage nonetheless. And I'm gonna have to aim here. It's gonna look really fucking weird, but we gotta shoot him. All right. We get it. Guy doesn't like that. He's gonna have to get used to it. Is this even capable of breaking his face? Oh, yep, it just did. Answered my own question. Oh, and now it's targeting somebody else. Yeah, you keep the aggro on you. There you go. That's how we do it. Damn, the abomination completely forgot about me. It's just going for this guy. Oh, I had to say something. You remembered. Let's end him. There we go. Appreciate the help. And get shit from it, though. I'm gonna try this again with another group of zombies. I think this is a pretty decent group right here. Let me shoot one shot into it. Anybody affected by dead wire? It don't look like it. They are going down. Disciple not taking any elemental damage. This is so weird, dude. Oh, and here's a storm ender in here. Let me grab that. Might not be legendary tier, but we'll see if it activates at all. Looks like it's just slowing them down per usual. And it's not really going to get any kills for us, but I will pack a punch it. We'll see if it does anything now that we're, you know, here in tier three. I just want to see a little dead wire activation. Just a teeny tiny bit. If not, then it'll just be a nice support weapon for us going into the elder. Let's get this up to pack three. Let's see if we can't get a good group of zombies chasing us and we'll try this again. Let's go for it. Anybody here getting dead wire? Everybody in the club getting dead wire. It does not look like it, but we did kill a Hellhound, which is crazy because this thing does like little to no damage. At least we're slowing him down. Damn, dude. Neither of these guns work with it? And this is one last chance against a nice group here. No dead wire that I'm seeing. I actually have not even been looking at the metals. I see jackrabbits popping up, but nothing about like, uh, like a zapped metal. We get no swiping. Shout out Swiper, but not really seen anything besides that. So you know what? 
Let's just hop into the elder and hope for the best. Wait, is this elder? I think I did the wrong one. This one's elder. We're doing this one. All right, well, let's see if this uh, deranged combo can get us through the elder. And let's hope that I either don't crash or get thrown into one of these aether crystals and stuck again. Let's get this shit started. Give me that. Start the bad boy up. And maybe we'll do a little storm ender. Keep the zombies away for a second. Slow them down. I don't think that's helping. That might just be the most worthless gun. It's probably really good if you have like teammates. Oh, Mimic, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm crawling. I'm inside the Mimic's balls. I'm in his balls. I've been, I've been birthed. They're not even attacking the ACV. Oh wait, now they are. Cause they don't, they don't even know what's going on. I can't make this shit up. It's either the Mimic gets stuck inside the Escort or I get stuck inside the Mimic. I'm, I'm in his pouch. I'm a, I'm a, oh shit. My name is Joe. I'm a little Joey. This is bullshit, dude. At least we get a, we get to see a nice little view of his piggies, them fine toes. But unless he like despawns and dies, how do I get out of this? I'm hitting every button in the book. We're just, we're, we're on nut cam. He's got a GoPro strapped to the, the tip of his meat. I can open up my inventory. Is there anything I can use? Let's switch to the cashmere. It's not letting me throw it. It's almost like I'm I'm in the air. I can't switch weapons. Oh, the mimic despawned, but I'm still in the ground. I climbed out. All right, we're, we're still alive. We're still in this. You know what? I would rather it just do some shit like that than us get our hopes up and think that we can beat it and just a kill a bunch of times. So you know what? Fine. I'm all right with being a mimic's ball sack for a little bit, but Jesus, sledgehammer, please. On top of the, the, the trees dancing over here, Texture's not loading in. All the other bugs and glitches I've gone through in this Dark Aether, that one was the craziest. Let's get it together. This game is held together with fucking crazy glue. A glue stick, even. Let's see if we can even take this guy down without any assistance. I guess the monkey bomb can assist us. Let's try to break a face with our glitchy-ass optic. Oh, nice. Nice, Mimic. Way to fucking steal all the attention. Does this even do anything to the Omega Bomb? Does it even slow him down? I don't think it does. But this guy needs to die. We need this nuke. Perfect timing. I was about to get slapped to death by those zombies. We got a little bit of damage on him. We're doing something. Even if that something is going down every two seconds. Jeez. Not to be confused with cheese. Oh shit, I have one self revive left. This has gone from bad to awful real quick. This Dark Aether is just so unforgiving. I think we finally broke his face. Whoa, where the fuck? There's just a cloud of smoke and he appeared next to me. But another cashmere going out, serving it up Gary's way. And I can't even take his laser. It's too strong. And we're down again. That's our last self revive. Awesome, sweet. I think we just need to cut our losses and get out of here. This is too much. They done fucked me up. I think I at least deserve to live. If anything. I'm Aether Shrouding, so I can just get a nice little head start on these guys. And we are running the fuck away. Give me to this X-Fill now. Alright, Monkey Bomb Distract. Um, Textures load in. Please! I'd be so pissed if I died at not knowing where I'm at, because shit is invisible. We still have two Cashmere's. I'll get some use out of them for a second. Oh, that Mangler just ran right through him. Let's leave. Leave! <gasps> the Mimic grabbed me while I was going to it. I cannot believe the amount of bullshit I've been going through with this. And now, for, from now on... Oh, it's so inefficient, but I, I definitely just need to start doing these Elder Sigils with the Outlast. Because that one, I feel like I can get through. If I'm not thrown into a crystal. Or into a Mimic's fucking nutsack. And I wish there was a breakdown of, like, my medals or something after the game. Did I seriously only get 12 minutes off my total here? Bullshit game. So to answer the question, does the dead wire detonator actually work on the Morse? I don't think so. What I saw when I first tested the weapon out, it looked like it counted towards my electric damage kills. But after playing a whole game with it, doing all kinds of things with it, I didn't see any indication that it was actually working. It's still a pretty decent weapon, you know, albeit with a, a few bugs with the optic, but the dead wire detonators do not work with it. Same with our storm ender. Both of them are completely useless when it comes to the dead wire detonator. At least from what I can tell. Maybe you guys can figure something out. Maybe the attachments I have on it make it so it doesn't work. I don't know. 
All I know is don't go to the Dark Aether unless you want to be inside of a Mimic Scrotum. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.